Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Empowerment Technology Week 2. Let me go. So here we will study about online safety and internet risk, and at the same time, the search skills in the, dif in the different search engines. Our ob objectives for today are to apply online safety, security, ethics, and etiquette standards and practice in the use of ICTs as it would relate to the specific professional chat. And of course, we have to use, okay. we have the use or to use the internet as a tool for credible research and information gathering to best achieve the specific class objectives or address a situational. Okay, so to give us a prior knowledge about what we're going to do today, we will answer a Kahoot. But here in this video lesson, you cannot answer that. We will do that only during online class. For our let's recall, you will answer part of your module which you need to write T if the, if the statement is true and F if it is false. So you have one to five there. And also part two is you have to choose the letter of the correct answer. You have also to do that in your module. So let's go to our lesson for today. So the importance of internet plays a crucial part in human development. Life becomes easy and comfortable because of this technology. Most of us are connected to the internet via laptop, mobile phone, tablet, personal computer, and other electronic gadgets. Behind this technology, there are risks that everyone should be aware of. You could be addressed on scam, bullying, and illegal activities if you will not take precautions in using internet. We need to keep ourselves safe and secure whenever we use the internet. And that is why it is very important to know and learn the ways on how to be safe and secured online. So here are the tips on how to be safe online. First, of course, do not share your password with anyone, even if it is closest to your heart. Again, do not share it to anyone. Add friends you know in real life. If you know, don't know them in real life, you might actually do a little more research about them. Do not visit untrusted website. Don't just keep on clicking. Add password to your Wi-Fi at, wi at home to make it private. Install and update antivirus in your phone or computer. Do not give your personal information to anyone. Think before you click. Never post about your future vacation. And here are the following internet risks. First is the cyberbullying. It happens when someone intentionally abused, harassed, and mistreated by other person using electronic communication. Identity theft. It is a crime of stealing personal information for the purpose of assuming that person's name or identity to make any form of transaction. Cyber stalking as criminal practice where electronic communication is used to stalk or harass individual or group. Sexting is the act of sending sexually implicit text messages, images, and videos. Internet threats. So we have the following internet threats. Number one is the malware. When we say malware, it is also known as a malicious software, like the following, spam, also known as a junk email or unwanted email sent by advertiser or boot. It can be used to send malware. 
phishing, a cyber attack method using deceptive emails and website to acquiring sensitive personal information. Cybercrime, a crime in which computer is used as object and tool in committing a crime such as hacking, phishing, spamming, child pornography, libel, hate crimes, identity theft, and others. Cybercrime law, a law that deals with all forms of cybercrime. Netiquette, it is a word that came from two words, the net and etiquette. It is an etiquette applied online that shows proper manner and behavior. If you're, if you're a member of an online society through social media, you are called netizen. And it is an interacting with other netizen online. We need to maintain good behavior, which is acceptable to community and the online, in online community. The cross rules for netiquette by Seth T. Rose. Remember, remember that we're all human. Adhere to the same standard of behavior online that you know or you follow in real life. Know where you are in cyberspace. Respect other people's time and bandwidth. Make sure or make yourself look good online. Share expert knowledge. Help keep flame wars under control. Respect other people's privacy. Don't abuse your power. Be forgiving of other people's mistake. And we have the following online search and research skills. So internet research is a research method in collecting and gathering information via internet by using search engines such as Google's. When we say search engines, these are a program that allow users to search for content on internet. And here are the following search engines. The Google search, Yahoo, Bing Info, Dogpile, InfoSpace or Internet Archives. When we say or when we do searching the web, we have to get the correct and reliable information. Is our goal, of course, in searching in the internet. We may rely on the capabilities of the search engine. But sometimes it may not give us the correct information because of the keywords we entered into a search engine. So we have to be careful of this. There are techniques in searching information that can be applied in search engine in order to get a better result. We have also this copyright infringement. It happens when the copyrighted work is used by other person without permission of the author or copyright holder. Any person who is infringing the right protected work would be reliable under the law. Fair use. Fair use is use of copyrighted materials for comment, teaching, criticism, news reporting, research, scholarship, and other similar purpose is not an infringement of copyright. Tips for effective internet research by George Matthews. Know what kind of research of what you do. Make a list of keywords you will use in your search. Enclose keywords in quotation marks. Use minus sign. Try specialized search engines. Skim through search results web pages, bookmark, and review your bookmark. Online research skills by Hannah Three Wheeler Hudson. Three Wheeler, okay, by Hannah Three Wheeler Hudson. Check your sources, ask good questions, go beyond the surface, be patient, respect ownership and use your network. Copyright issues, there are millions of information that we get, that we can get from the internet. Some of this information are free, but other are not. They are protected by a copyright law.
So what is copyright? It is a protection given to an owner of the rights in an original work such as bookmarks, musical works, films, paintings, and other works, and computer programs. The original work is called intellectual property, which is protected under Republic Act 8293, known as the International Property Code of the Philippines. If you have question, just type in your question here, and um, I will really try my best to answer you and search more. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And this is my um, output for this week. Bye, thank you.